What do a person, a mountain range, and uh, let's say a building have in common? They all usually have a unique name that identifies them. So why not give your Mac a unique name? What's good everyone, I'm Dave, and in this video, you'll learn how to change the computer name of your Mac from the default name to something more unique. During the setup of your Mac, when the very first user account is created, the computer will use what's entered into the full name field during Setup Assistant as the name of your computer. Like your own name being used to identify who you are, the name of your computer is used to identify it on other devices, as well as identify it on your local network, whether you have one computer on your network or multiple computers. When I set up my new MacBook Pro, I entered administrator in the full name field for that very first user account, and in turn, the computer was named administrator's MacBook Pro. This can be seen in a few places like Bluetooth preferences, your Apple ID account, and in some notifications. Now, Administrator's MacBook Pro is a boring name for a computer, so let's give it something more creative. Let's launch System Preferences by clicking on the gear icon in the dock or by hitting Command Spacebar to open Spotlight. In the search bar, start typing System Preferences, and then in the search results, click on System Preferences, or if it's highlighted, hit Enter. Click on the sharing icon to open this section. Near the top, you'll see Computer Name, and next to it, the name of your computer. Mine, as I mentioned earlier, is currently named Administrator's MacBook Pro. To change this, click into the field with the computer name and press Command-A to highlight all the text in the field. In the text field, start typing in a new name, and this is where you can get creative with the name of your Mac, naming it after something that resonates with you, giving it the name of a person, a landmark, or maybe your favorite planet or ship from Star Trek or Star Wars. For me, I'll be naming my computer after my home city of Vancouver. To save your changes, click outside of the text field. Duplicate names can't be used, so if the name you've chosen is already in use by another Mac on your network, you'll get a prompt when you try to save your changes. If the name is already in use, and a number will automatically be added to the new name. Below the computer name field is the local host name network name, and this is automatically updated. If you use any spaces in your computer name, they'll be replaced here with dashes, and the local host name is not case sensitive. If you wanted to change the local host name network name, which you really shouldn't need to, you can click on the edit button and make changes in the dialog box. Hit cancel to exit out of this. Changing the computer name takes effect immediately, and one of the places we can check this is Bluetooth preferences. In the top row of system preferences, click on the 4x3 grid to return to the main screen. Go into Bluetooth Preferences, and if Bluetooth is off, click on Turn Bluetooth On. Below, now discoverable as, is the new computer name. If you sign into your Apple ID, the new computer name will also update in your account. While these steps are done in macOS Monterey, they should work in a similar manner on Macs with older operating systems like Mountain Lion, High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, and Big Sur. Thank you for watching this video on renaming your Mac. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, please consider sharing it, and please consider subscribing. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.